Okay. So, rule number one, if a man cheats on you, fuck his entire family and his friends. Oh, hold up, I saw a shawty glow up, she know I'm about to blow up. And now these shawty's one up. I know these niggas talking, tell them boys run up. Double okay, so one of y'all complaining that I'm always wearing that pink sweater. So, I went out and I bought a new sweater. Yep. Um, okay, so it's going to be a Q&A. I hope you guys can hear me. Look at my motherfucking tattoo, it's so cute. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get to it. Look, I got a new phone too. I got a new phone from YouTube. Not from YouTube, but like, you know, I bought it with my YouTube money. Hopefully you guys stop complaining about the quality of that shit now. Okay. Where at the beginning of my question? Okay, here we go. First question is dick video. That's not a question, but okay, buddy. Second question is, did you f ever fuck a white guy? If so, did you enjoy it? <sighs> I have while working and honestly, there was this one ginger that I fucked and like, it was actually his dick was big like he was he was a ginger like an old man not an old man like in his 40s he was a ginger and like his dick was kind of big so it was kind of fun um do you like the taste of cum surprisingly yes i do uh depending on who it comes from because like some of y'all have like nasty ass tasting cum and then some of y'all have the nice depends on what they're eating i think favorite makeup product um kat von d cover up because it covers up all my motherfucking pimples like i'm breaking out like a bitch right now well you can see that but like it helped cover it up okay um can you use tip can you give tips on sucking dick i've already done this before okay so like when you're sucking his dick make sure you're not using teeth that's the number one rule don't use teeth um use a lot of tongue like lick around the tip a lot like kiss it like don't like miss any spots like give all of the dick some love you know um why do you choose to be a hoe you don't have respect for yourself sis i don't get why people say that hoes have no self-respect okay how am i not respecting myself by letting my pussy have fun I'm respecting myself. I'm respecting my little cookie down there. And, like, I'm respecting it. I'm giving myself pleasure. I'm letting myself have pleasure. How is that not respecting myself? That means I love myself. Yep. Do you masturbate? I've already gone through this. I do not know how to make myself come. So, no, not really. How tall are you? I'm 5'8". When did you start hoeing? When I was in, when I turned 18. Do you use lube for the big guy? Yes, I do. I do use lube a lot, actually. Not even just for the big guys, but, like, um, when you have sex a lot, like, your shit starts to, like, dry up, you know? Like, I was fucking this guy one time, and, like, he's like, oh, you're so tight, you're so tight. Nah, motherfucker, I'm dry as shit, because, first of all, he skipped foreplay. Second of all, we don't have any lube, and you. this is like your fifth round, so no, bitch. Not because I'm tight, it's because I'm dry. You are a porn star. No. Do you want kids eventually? Um. Maybe. Not really, I don't like kids. I mean, like, I like, no, I don't like kids. And a little me running around. Yikes. Chicken tenders or chicken wings? Chicken tenders. I do not eat chicken that has a bone in it because I can see the veins and shit and it looks weird. Does that make sense? What zodiac signs do you like and dislike? I like Scorpios. Um, I like Aquariuses. I do not like Geminis. If you are a Gemini, stay far away from me. No. 
What were the companies you worked for before? I've never had a job. Do you think you don't care about others' opinions because you love yourself enough to... I can't see the rest of that, so I can't answer that. Why did you get the 8 and not the X? Because I'm a broke hoe. I actually don't know. I just really wanted the 8 plus and like... I don't know. Fuck you. Stop eating. Noted. Thank you. I will stop eating. Why do some girls who escort have pimps? Because it's more security for you. Um, it can be safer depending on who your pimp is. Oh my god, I'm trying to level down to this shit. Okay. How many times you got a train? Is it, if it counts, if two guys counts as a train, then I'm going to say eight times or like ten maybe. If not, then three times? I don't know. Please come to Michigan. I might. Weirdest fetish you have. Also, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Fetish I have is getting punched in the face. Like, I literally want a guy to punch me in my face. Like, knock me out. Like, literally knock me out while we're having sex. Which, and I have a fetish of getting, like, hurt, basically. Just, like, kick me, slap me, you know? Um, what's your favorite flavor? Ice cream, cookie dough. No disrespect, girl, but what's your body count? 400. Can you please open to us up a little more about your mom? We're here for you when we're listening. My mom died of terminal cancer when I was 17 which was five years ago. That's all I'm gonna say on it. Did you finish school? Tips on confidence as a curvy girl. Did I finish school? No, I didn't. A bitch does not know how to do math. Um, tips for confidence as a curvy girl. Um, fine. Honestly, I feel like as curvy girls, you should be dressing like a lot of bigger girls dress like in bigger clothes, you know? I think like like dressing tight in tight clothes like brings out your your curviness, you know? Like it looks nice personally, I think so. Um I don't know. Just look in the mirror and you be like, "Yo, like I'm bad bitch, yeah. I don't fucking know. How do you make money now since you stopped working the telly? Um, I do promo, I have a premium snap or two. Um, I get paid to go to events. Um, I scam men and YouTube. Is Brampton like the hood? No. Is Brampton the hood? What? No. What is your favorite food? Shawarma poutine. How do you feel about fucking with Latino men? I wouldn't mind it. Like I said before, like if he's like a drug dealer with a bunch of face tats, he's like a hood man. Da, 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 da. Then I, he can catch it. He can get it. What were you gonna major in before you dropped out? I was I didn't drop out of college. I dropped out of high school. So I was gonna major in honus. When you gonna come to DC and get lit with me? I'm crushing on you. Um, I don't even know where DC is. Do you have a child? No, I don't. Who are the Somalis you fucked? I didn't say I fucked Somalis. I didn't say I fucked Somalis. I said I gave them head. When was your first time doing coke? I think a year and a half ago. How often do you give oral? Not that much anymore because I'm on that whole, if you're not giving me head, I'm not giving you head tip. 
meanings behind your tattoos. Okay, you guys ask this a lot. So the meaning behind this tattoo is Medusa. It's just Medusa. The meaning behind these ones, lost soul. My soul is lost. I lost my soul. The meaning behind my rose. Rose. It's just a rose. And the meaning behind my broken heart is because I'm a broken hearted bitch. There we go. What's your height? I'm 5'8". Do you regret anything? No, I live my life with no regrets. When you gonna suck my dick? Never. Do you have any regrets? No, I live my life with no regrets. Body count? 400. Do you like anal? Do I? I have mixed feelings about it. It feels, it feels like... Feels like you're taking a big shit. And like to be honest, that's kind of like I'm I'm not I'm gonna I like <laughs> taking shits feels good to me sometimes. Like it's like a relief kind of thing. It feels good to have the shit come out of your asshole, so I mean maybe I like anal. But it hurts. What kind of music do you like? Um, I usually listen to old music, like like 90s R&B music. Favorite TV show would have to be... I don't have a favorite one. Okay, so I watch Grey's, I watch How to Get Away with Murder, I watch... Um... On my blog, I watch Star. I watch Dear White People. That's it, yeah. Those are my favorite TV shows. How do you get through a rough patch in life in a healthy way? I'm the last person you should ask. Honestly, if I'm going through a rough patch in life, I drink my pain away or I sleep 24-7. Tips for guys to pleasure a woman. Here's a tip. Why don't you guys try actually finding the clit? And don't rub so hard, like, nah, bruh. Find the clit. Stories behind your tattoos, just on it. How to, how your go-to drunk high meal. Um, there's this, like, Buffalo Caesar wrap at Kelsey's, and, like, every time I'm drunk, I order that with poutine. It's so motherfucking good. Where the fuck do you get your outfits? Um, Forever 21 or Fashion Nova. If you could get one plastic surgery procedure for free, what would you get done? My nose. My nose, I don't know if you've noticed, but my nose is broken because when I was really high one time with my friend, ex-friend now, she um, punched me in the face constantly when I was unconscious. And she broke my nose. And then I went to the hospital and they were like, oh, your nose is broken. Do you want to snap back in place? And my dumb ass, my high motherfucking dumb ass was like, doesn't look broken to me, but it's broken. Brampton Mans or Kitchener? Brampton Mans over everyone. Brampton Mans win everything. I don't care. I love Brampton Man. Do you think you can be faithful in a long distance relationship? Nope. Which race likes to run trains the most? I think it's all equal. Do you miss your old life? What's my old life? Like escorting? What is my old life? How much of a freak are you? Do you ever feel taken advantage of by friends or men all the time? People take advantage of me all the motherfucking time. I want to eat your ass. Go ahead. Why can't you have kids? Okay, why I can't have kids is because... <sighs> when I started out my whole years, I would do this thing where... I wouldn't let my, get myself get a period. So I was taking birth control pills and anytime my period came, 
I take at least five birth controls in a row, birth control pills in a row to get rid of my period so that I could have sex. I could not go a day without having sex. So like I would just get rid of my period. And then I got on the depo shot and I was on it for five years. And like, I guess it fucked up my body so bad now that I have PCOS. And like the doctor says like that I can't have kids, so. I really would fuck the shit out of you. When can we link? You look like a little boy, so I'm not answering that. If you can handle any situation in your past differently, what would it be? I don't know. Best and worst hookup you've had, ever had. What made it best? Whatever. Best hookup would be with my ex because I was in love with him and like having sex when you're in love is like the most amazing thing ever. Worst would be with that bug-eyed motherfucker with the eyes like this that kept staring at me. Um, How do you know if you're ready for a relationship? I don't know. I love you, BB. I love you too. How many times can you come in an hour? Like three times? What were your prices when you, when you were asking? When you were escorting, honestly, you must be noticed. Um, My prices were $100 half hour and $200 hour when I was escorting. How do you suck to D head motions? What? I'm 18 and kind of curvy and chunky. How do I become more confident like you? Okay. I'm just going to say this once because you, all you girls are coming to my DM talking about how do I become confident like you? How do you become so confident? It's something you have to learn to like, it's something you have to learn to love yourself. You know, you have to learn to be like confident. You have to learn not to give a fuck what other people think. Um, this sounds corny as fuck, but like my suggestion like would be like, go look in the mirror and find... Like, every morning, just look at yourself in the mirror and find, like, list of, like, five things, five good features about yourself. Like, whether it be something looks-wise or something personality-wise, just list some good things about yourself. Stop thinking about the bad things about yourself or the things you think are bad because you're probably fine. What do you think about Tiny Meat Gang podcast and how they said you're the... <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I noticed um, this Tiny Meat Gang podcast has been mentioning me. Honestly, they are so fucking funny. Like, usually I'd be like, oh, I hate white guys, fuck white guys. <laughs> if there were ever some white guys that I would love, that those are it. Yep, definitely. How was your first time getting head? Weird. Because I was like... Whoa, this feels weird. I didn't even know this could... What are you doing down there, buddy? <laughs> Why were you homeless? My dad kicked me out. I love you and your vids. Thank you, boo-boo. Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have. Is it better to lose your virginity high or drunk? I'm gonna go with high. First time I ever hooked up with a guy, I was high. And let me tell you, I don't get high, but... That shit felt so great. I felt like I was on fucking clouds. Like everything felt better. And second of all, if you get drunk and lose your virginity, you're probably going to end up regretting it. <clears throat> or doing it with someone that you're going to like regret. I don't suggest losing your virginity drunk. I did, but I cried my like eyes out the night that I lost my virginity. So show your pussy. What annoys you most about being a YouTuber? Love your vids, queen. I don't consider myself a YouTuber because <clears throat> I ain't shit. Can you follow me? Do you get paid yet for videos? Yes, I do. Any plans to change hair color sooner or later? Okay, here's why I am not changing my hair color anytime soon. The merch that we have made or in the process of making is um me with pink hair so for me to just up and change it and just have like black hair or like blue hair or something 
No. The pink hair is iconic. <laughs> I never said that you guys did. Everyone else said that. Sorry, I'm so sorry. That sounded so fucked coming out of my mouth. I don't know what that means. I really like the pink hair. Uh, I feel prettier with the pink hair, even though I ugly as fuck, but like, it makes me feel pretty, so. <clears throat> Just know that I'm standing up right now doing this and I, I'm dying to sit. I'm fucking dying to stay. I just found really good lighting right here, so I had to use it. Because right now it's, like, rainy outside. <sighs> People actually stand for this long. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your sex horror story? I don't know what that means, so I can't answer that. Does your dad have any idea what you do or what you post on YouTube? Yes. Do you ever gonna do porn? Yes. Would you be in a relationship with a girl? Probably. Are you making any porn videos soon? Why are you so gross? I don't know, cause I am. That's really rude. <laughs> How do you color your hair and do you like guys more or girls more? How do I color my hair? I use Ion Colors, uh, the color Radiant Orchid from, I don't know, I'm probably not saying that right. From um, Sally's. And I use the blue powder bleach to do my roots and everything. And do you like guys more or girls more? Okay. This is a hard one because I want to say guys, but every dream that I have is me eating pussy. It's just straight up. Every single dream that I've been having for like the past six months, maybe, me eating pussy. I might have to go with girls. What advice would you give your younger self? Um, I would tell my younger self to not give a fuck what these people are saying. Cause like I used to get bullied a lot. And like anytime someone would say something bad about me, I would like sit in my room and cry or like cut myself. So I would tell myself, fuck these haters, bitch. Can you react to Swedish song? What's that? Nikki or Cardi? Nikki. What's your family life? My family life is fine. Natural hair color is dark brown. Would you ever do meet up in the States if I ever became good enough to be do a meet up or known enough? I mean, have you ever had a man body shame you after sex? This has happened. Yes. Yes, they body shame the shit out of you after sex if you guys have any type of argument. Even if you don't have an argument, like, I, like, <sighs> I'm so sorry. Some motherfucker thought it would be okay to call me on Instagram. So I had to turn my phone on airplane mode. But yeah, I get body shamed after sex, um, which is stupid because you chose to fuck me. You know what? You knew I was fat before you fucked me. Okay. So suck my dick. Have any STDs? No. When the video? What video? What do you do when you get lonely? I sleep or I make my dog cuddle with me, but he usually runs away from me, so. Or I go on Tinder and meet up with a random guy and just fuck the soul out of him. Where do you want to end up? I want to be famous. Hey, babe, I love you, but do you always plan on being a hoe? Yes. How do you deal with creeps in general? I'm hot, so I get followed a lot. <clears throat> How do I deal with creeps? Usually I trick them and scam them out of their money and then just block them. Right now, I have a guy from the States who's, like, 
harassing the fuck out of me to the point where it's creepy. Like, I haven't responded to this guy in like a month. But he still calls me, he still texts me every day. And then when I don't reply, he's always like, you're fake, fuck you, da 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 da. Yeah. What was your job, dream job when you were younger? My dream job when I was younger was to be an actress. When was your last relationship and why did y'all break up? My last relationship was in June, I think, or July. And we broke up because, in his words, I am childish. I'm childish. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> what made you start the whole life? I don't know, I just did it once for, to find out what it's like and then I continued because I liked it. Do you have fetishes? I already went through that. What's the craziest thing you've done sexually? Ate ass? I don't really consider that crazy, but y'all might. How do you rate your deep, free, deep, deep throat skills out of 10? I'm gonna go with a six, to be honest, or a seven. If I'm drunk, it's definitely a nine. What's the meaning of your face tattoo? I'm broken hearted. Are you gonna do a meet and greet if I ever become more up then yeah. Who is somebody you look up to? Somebody I look up to. Nobody. Honestly, I don't look up to anyone. Maybe Amber Rose? I don't know. Thank you for being so body and sex positive. <clears throat> we need more people like you. Thank you, sweetie. Ever want kids? Maybe how to be a bad bitch? I don't know. I'm ugly. What to you is a big, average, and small dick? Okay, so a big dick would be nine inches. Average, I say, would be six inches. Small would be four inches. Can you do more vlogs? Yes. From now on, every event or everything that I'm going to do out in public or something, I'm going to make a vlog. Yeah. Why you rep Toronto if you're from shithole meth town snitchener? Like, yo, either move to Toronto or I can't read the rest of that. I'm kind of glad I can't because you were talking shit. But I don't rep Toronto, actually. Um, just the people out there are nicer to me. Um, rather than the people in Kitchener who don't really talk to me. I don't rep. Every time someone asks me where I'm from, I literally say Kitchener. So I'm not repping Toronto. I'm just saying, like, like you know, like the local artists out there, I fuck with them. Their music's dope. Like... Fuck with me, please. Do you think you're famous? By the way, you're an amazing person. No, I don't think I'm famous. Where do you see yourself in 20 years? Dead. What age did you lose your virginity? 16. Thoughts on Ottawa mans? I've never hooked up with one or met one. Would you so stop sucking dick for $10 million? Yeah. How old were you when your mom passed away? I was 17. When did you stop caring what, about what other people said about you? <sighs> I think when I was like 18 or 17. Cause like, I finally came to the realization like I can't stop this. Like there's nothing I can really do about what other people are saying about me. So why do I care? You know? If you could change anything you did in the past, would you know? Watching you from Spain, why did you decide to do a YouTube page? I don't remember who suggested it, but whoever did, shout out to you. What made you decide to give head to randoms? Notice. I don't know. I'm just fucked. 
What do you think your spirit animal is? I have no idea. How many guys in Toronto have you slept with and who is your favorite one and why? Uh, how many guys? A lot. And my favorite one would, well, okay, he's not from Toronto, but he's from Brampton and my ex because, like I said, I was in love with him. Well, I still probably am, but still. What's one sexual thing you want to do that you've never done yet? Like I said, I want someone to punch me in my face, like literally knock me out while we're having sex. But no one will do that. Can we be friends? Sure. Would you suck someone that's under 18? I did by accident before, but I'm not doing it again. How do you view death? I don't know how to answer that. What was the biggest dick size you've ever taken? 11 inches. Would you ever do a meet and greet in California? I would love to come to Cali. Oh, and I found out, by the way, forgot to say that. So I found out that um, I actually can go to America right now. It just depends whether or not they do a background check on me, which is um, they don't always do it. So I can try to cross the border. So I'm going to try to do that sometime soon. Do you enjoy trains more than just one person? Yes, I do. Because it makes me feel like a bad bitch and I don't know why. That sounds fucked up, but it makes me feel like a bad bitch. Advice for boys that want to be a hoe. Y'all can be hoe out all you want. No one's going to say shit to y'all. Biggest dick you've had, I'm curious. 11 inches. Rank the major can Canadian cities you've visited. I don't want to. <laughs> Can you adopt me? Yes. Advice on fuckboys. Don't. Fuck with them. Have you ever gotten an injury from sex? No. Have you ever been in love? If so, do you all still talk? Yes, I have. And no, we don't talk. What are your talents? Sucking dick. Minding my own business. What's the biggest lie you've ever been told from family and friends? Okay. I don't know if this is true. My parents used to always tell me that if you eat a lot of carrots, you're going to turn orange. I still don't know if it's true. So can someone please confirm whether or not I'm going to turn orange if I eat too many carrots? Not that I really out... I'm out here eating vegetables, but I just want to know. <sighs> Have you ever caught feelings after some bomb dick? All the time. Has anyone ever had stank dick? All the time. Would you ever go abstinent? Nope. When you were younger, what aspirations did you have for your, your future self? Who's the real Saji? I always wanted to be an actress and be famous. For the future, what would your ideal career or where do you see yourself in 10 years? I want to be famous. What are your talents? Like I said, sucking dick. Uh, I can fit my whole fist in my mouth, I think, still. Kinda. I tried. I think that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. So those are the end of the questions. I'm gonna do another video tomorrow. Wow, this lighting is so nice. Okay, anyways, I meant to tell you guys. So I found new lashes. These are bomb as fuck and they are Ardell Double Up number 210. And they're new, and I think I'm going to start going with these ones instead of the other ones. So, if y'all are wondering what I switched up to, like I said, I'm going to repeat myself again. Ardell, double up, number 210 is what these are. And they're bomb as fuck. Okay. Toulouse, bye!